Okay, thank you, Indrani, okay, for joining. So thank you are you. you are okay to be on my uh, YouTube, right? Yes, sure, I am. Fantastic. Yes, sure. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. you so much for playing with me today. So, what can we create? What can we change? What can be changed um, to have love and to share our knowledge with others and bring more love and understanding between us human beings? That's what I really would like to do. That's okay. my vision I have. Okay, so um, do you have all these within you? I think so, yes. <laughs> uh, it's not only a thinking, I do feel I have it all, yes. Have, okay, cool. So what is stopping you from um, radiating this? What do you think is stopping you from doing all that? Um, Being the space of it. Yeah. I think it's the kind of life I chose about uh, 10 years ago mm -hmm. when I decided to give up life, uh, everyday life of working and um, having seen clients and doing things all remote because we live in a very remote place. There are no buses, no cars, no industry, no nothing. The road is almost impossible to walk. Um, so I don't meet people. I just see birds. I see some cats, three cats, dogs. How, somehow. how did you get so lucky? <laughs> <laughs> I keep <Wow>. asking. <laughs> I keep asking me this every day. Yes, that really sounds lovely. Actually, okay. So yes. tell me, So tell me, then what? Why do you require to do this work? So you chose this life. Yes. For a reason. So what yes. has changed? What are you missing? Uh, ten years mm -hmm. now, uh, there's a sudden urge in me that mm -hmm. keeps telling me, you must share your knowledge, uh, your experience, um, and not just keep it for myself. That's, that's what is happening, you see. Okay. And okay. yeah. That's okay. the main reason. Okay, so um, when there is a must or should somewhere in, in our life, does it feel light? Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. There's a, a enthusiasm and mm -hmm. a joy that comes up, you know. For sharing. Okay, that's cool. Right, so uh, when, when you say this, there is something you receive from sharing, yeah. Yes. What, what What would be What would that be? That's also a kind of joy. I have no other word for it. It's uh, that okay. somebody else is happy it makes me feel happy, and that creates joy. It ignites joy. You know, it goes one after the other. Okay. You know, like a domino. So. Do you require someone else to be happy for you to be happy, or are you happy? I am happy in my own, on my own. You are, I don't need, no. You are happy. Okay, so you would like to kind of share your happiness with the world. So is it a, is it a need or a desire? Hello? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so sharing your knowledge is a need or a desire? More desire than a need. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So what do you require, you think? What do I require? Um, first of all, to make myself perhaps known or tell people that there is something like that. Somebody okay. there. Okay. Okay. So um, if you didn't get to do this, what would happen, you think? Um, what would happen? I'll just take it with me back home to where I came from. 
Okay, so when you say this, is there any sort of uh, emotion or feeling attached to it? Not really, no. So no. It, you don't have to do anything to be happy. I, no. You are already joyful. You just want to share. <laughs> yes, that's right. Absolutely. Yes. You don't have to, no. I don't, don't have to do you it. You don't have to, but it will bring you more joy. Yes, and I think it would be also a help for others who are looking for... Uh, some kind of assistance, help, um, any other word you can use, therapy forms, whatever, you know, okay. that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. right now, right here, what stops you from doing that work? Um, first of all, because I'm not known. Secondly, because I don't have any people coming to ask me for anything like that. Thirdly, I don't meet people because. I'm always in some foreign country and often I don't speak their own language again. <laughs> That's also okay. a barrier. So we are not in the same country and we are speaking and we are kind of meeting online. So yes. what justifications do you have not to share your knowledge? Do you, uh, do you, see, do you, do you see there is something that is, that is preventing from happening? And is it from you or from somebody else? I think uh, it's from me. Maybe I, uh, at least now I have decided to go online mm. and start sharing whatever I can share with others. Um, I can't say that it is from somebody. It's been my wish and I want to go through it. And I have found people now. But, yeah, you talking to you again, all that is, I think, uh, that's leading the path to it, towards it. Okay, so my sense is that there is something between you and the people you are looking to share your knowledge with. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so what would that be? I may be wrong. It's just, you know, I'm sharing my awareness. Uh, I'm sensing the energy around you. So yes. if you have a barrier between you and the people you are looking to share your knowledge with, with what would it be? Mm -hmm. A barrier. What, uh, would be, what would be the reason you think? Uh, maybe I, I'm already thinking, oh, I hope I'm not overloaded with people. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, uh, I'm trying to push myself into something I don't want to really have. Uh, okay. Those so, are thoughts that go behind my mind that I think, okay. oh gosh, you know, am I going to work like those days? Oh, busy, 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 you know, thank you, you know, that kind of thing might be a barrier I can see. Okay. So do you, do you now sense that that is kind of holding you back from reaching out, from uh, from being visible? That could be, yes, yes. So can you now lower your barriers? Yes, sure, sure. Totally? Mm -hmm. Totally, totally, no. totally. Okay, okay, push down. Okay, mm -hmm. so are there, are there any wanting to be seen? Wanting to be seen yeah. in the sense that others, otherwise they can't come to me. Yeah, uh, so. not not wanting to be the center of attraction in that form. No, no. Okay. So, is there a judgment about being a, a center of attraction? Um, I think as a girl, I had that. Even maybe even as a grown-up woman, everybody should see me. Yes, that's me. Hi, hi. That kind of thing. But that okay. these have fallen off me you now. Okay, so any judgment yes, is a Mila. barrier, basically. Yes, I know. So, yeah. so, so when you said that, you know, you don't, you are not looking to be a point, a center of attraction. Did you sense the judgment in the statement? Mm, maybe slightly, not fully. Okay. Maybe there was some percent of judgment in it. Yeah, I'm judging myself and I say I don't want to be the center of attraction. Yes. 
Okay, so are you judging yourself for wanting to be seen by other people? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. now would you let that go? Yes, sure. Is sure. it okay to use access consciousness clearing or would you like to go with something else? I can, you I can, can do it out. Anything. You can do Sedona, you can do access consciousness. Okay. All the, we know, we both know, so it's okay. Okay, okay yeah. so let's do access consciousness here right yeah. so okay so all the judgments you have about uh, wanting to be seen and wanting to yeah. be or um, about being a center of attraction will you now destroy and create all of it yes right wrong good bad backward all nine shots boys and beyonds okay now yes. are you willing to be seen yes i am yeah, okay. you know, there's the split, as you know, there's always the split, Neela. Yeah. On the one side, yes, I want to be seen, and on the other side, you say, oh, no, you know, so, so that's the problem, yeah. So, so what would happen if you are seen? I, I will attract clients, I will attract people who want to know what I know. Or so what would happen? What would be the downside? Downside could the only thing could be that I might get stressed out by having so many people calling me, make trying to make appointments and things like that. That I see could be a downside, but I don't know, Neela. I don't okay. Know. So everything that brings up will you know destroy and uncreate all of it. <coughs> right, wrong, good, bad, fuck what all nine. Everything that brings up hello. Okay, so um, everything that brings up will you now destroy and uncreate all of it? Yes. The right, wrong, good, bad, fuck, bad, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay. Yes. So, uh, truth, how many people do you think you can uh, handle? How many clients? Mm, I've been thinking about it, but I'm not so sure. I was thinking maybe two, three a day, something like that. Okay, so everything that doesn't allow you to know, be perceive and receive, will you now destroy and uncreate all of it? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, fuck, all nine shots, boys and beyond. So what does having clients mean to you? Um, now, when you say that, what does it really mean to me? I feel um, kind of a warmth in my stomach, abdomen, and I don't know how to say what it is. Whether it you, is you don't have to, don't worry about it. Just yeah. bring up the energy. So everything that is will, you know, destroy and uncreate all of it. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, fuck, bad, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. What do you mean to your clients? What do I mean? Um, a kind of help, assistance, service. So every, everything that is will you know destroy and uncreate all of it. Yes. Right, yeah. wrong, good, bad, pop out, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So, so it is best not to have any definitions of yourself. So when you define yourself as a support, help, or assistance to your customers, your clients, you are limiting your uh, potency there. You yes. can only be support, assistance, and whatever you are setting out to be. Okay, so everything that doesn't allow you to know, be perceive and receive all that will you know destroy and uncreate all of it. Yes. Right, wrong, yes. good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So are you willing to be the infinite being you truly be? Yes, sure. Everything that doesn't allow that, right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So are you able to see your customers as, as in infinite beings as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. So truth, so what kind of people are you um, are you looking to share your knowledge with? Uh, 
those who are interested in in wanting to know okay so wanting to know what uh, wanting to know whatever it is that they want to know okay so everything that brings up will you know destroy and create all of it yes right wrong good bad pop part all nine shots voice and beyond so when you say wanting to know do you see that there is a lack of knowing in them mm -hmm. so when you see your customers as having lack of knowledge do you see them as infinite beings so um yes i understand <laughs> okay yeah so okay everything that is will you know destroy and uncreate all of it yes, yes. right wrong good bad pop part all nine shots boys and beyond so this is kind of common it's it's not uh, you know it's not just you all of us do this when somebody likes to uh, consult us for something then uh, there is a tendency to see that they are limited and you kind of instead of showing them the different possibility of being infinite we sometimes go down to where they are in the in the, in the space of limitation and go down with them that's what i used to do as a healer long long back and mm -hmm. things changed you know after after i learned to see them as infinite being as well not buying into the lack of anything yes lack of knowledge lack of prosperity or lack of anything mm, okay. so in my in in my point of view as a as facilitators what we simply do is we just switch on the light yes and show right. them that show them that they have everything mm, it's yeah, not that yes. they lack anything mm. okay so everything that brings up or lets down will you know destroy and uncreate all of it yes right wrong good bad pop part all nine shots boys and beyond so are you willing to be the space of a no judgment i didn't hear you are you willing to be the infinite space of no judgment for oh, yes. you for you as yes. well as for your customers yes so yes. everything everything that doesn't allow you to know be perceive and receive all that will you know destroy and create all of it yes right wrong good bad pop pop all nine shots boys and beyonds so right now right here what stops you from being all that nothing nothing cool so are you willing to share your knowledge with you i would like to listen to you yes cool how does it get any better than this than <laughs> that okay i'm going to do another video with you just after this and i would like to listen to whatever you got to say okay okay from one infinite being to another infinite being good what else is possible what else is possible yes lots okay okay cool so now you tell me how many clients can you handle you think how many clients could i handle a day up to you handle a day or you know for all eternity whatever <laughs> for all eternity how <laughs> sweet yes. yeah um i could handle many it's uh, for the quality of what i do i think it's best would be three a day okay again that is you know there's a lot of definitions going on that's what i see you know yes you are defining the quality you are defining your work and you are defining the numbers yes I so am. are you willing to be willing to have no definitions of yourself or your work okay everything that doesn't allow you to know be perceive yeah. and receive all that will you know destroy and uncreate all of it yes sure right so good bad pop part all nine shots boys and beyond so if if sharing the knowledge is joy would it stress you so what is the lie there which is attached to the truth of joy you are willing to share so there is something there are you seeing yourself as a limited being that you can't, that you can't handle uh, the customers um 
because I have I didn't quite get the question, dear. Okay, cool. So, um, according to you, sharing the knowledge is joyful, right? Yes, that's right. Yes. Okay. So, if something is joyful, would it stress you? No, no. So, no. and what is the value of limiting the customers? Ah. Uh, uh, I think that has to do with my my marital situation. I am married. I have a husband. I have certain duties in the house. Um, I can't ignore him as if though I was you know <laughs> it's nobody here. If okay, I was so alone, I would work most probably from morning till night till I just uh, go to bed and get up in the, the morning and start again. But is it the is it the story. only reason? Um. I think so. It is trying to uh, keep our relationship also give it, give it, yeah, give it time, space, okay. and not only. Uh, I'm judging myself again when I say otherwise I will feel very selfish and egotistical if I'm to only search for my thing and ignore him. Okay, so. Uh... Are you defining yourself as a wife here? I'm defining you... myself as a wife as well. As well. Yes. Yeah. So are you kind of identifying with the role? I don't, I'm not that good a wife like that to be identified, I must say. <laughs> I do identify with my role. Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. So, fine, okay. Yes, I do identify. That's good that you asked me. I know okay. this now. Okay. The answer is yes. Okay. So, would you like to now destroy and uncreate all the identification, attachment, and aversion you have with this role? Yes. yes. Everything that doesn't allow that, right, wrong, good, bad, backward, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. It doesn't mean that, you know, you don't have to spend good uh, quality time with your husband or, you know, whatever you like to do. But mm. did you sense the energy when you said, as a wife, I have to spend a certain amount of time, etc., etc.? So, mm. was it coming from a space of joy or was it coming from a space of limitation? That's what yeah, I would ask you right. to ask yourself, okay? Very true, very okay. true, yes. So, uh, whatever you choose to do, whatever you do, if you make it as a choice, then there is no stress there. Yeah. If you choose joy, and absolutely there is no stress there. When you put have to, must, or should, if you have these words in your vocabulary, then obviously there is some stress stemming out from whatever that is. Whether it is a role, whether it is a, it is a relationship or a task or a chore or work, whenever you have must, should or have to, mm -hmm. you can sense that there is a limitation there. Mm. Okay, so everything that brings up will you now destroy and uncreate all of it. Yes. Right, strong, good, bad, pop, pop, online, shorts, boys and beyonds. Okay, so are you willing to simply play with your clients? Sure. So when you choose to play with your clients, how does the energy um, uh, feel like? More spontaneous and um, in the moment, being here and now, uh, those exactly. are all the positive sides of it. Yes, yes. Exactly. So, do you have mm. to plan? Do you have to? <laughs> do you have to market, or do you have to do any preparation? No. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. No. Exactly. So, uh, how many people would be willing to play with you, rather should... than being a client to you? Ah, oh, yeah. I'm sure there are many. Yeah. Many. So look, look, look at the energy of looking for a client and uh, looking for someone to play with. Yes. So if yeah. you can move into the energy of play, mm -hmm. 
what would you create what magic can uh, you create for yourself many playmates absolutely I'm very good at that <laughs> yeah yes there you go okay there we go now i see something i hadn't seen in all these years oh okay. i see yeah cool yeah that's a great tip yeah Could amazing <laughs> amazing. amazing it's amazing yes i've been a therapist so long and now i realized it today yeah good thank yeah. you yeah just switching on the light nothing else you know everything it's just yeah. it. <laughs> turning the light so, on good. absolutely good. so how does yeah. it get any better than this i would love to know how many playmates you get how many playmates i will get yeah mm. i would love to know know the progress <laughs> progress you make for oh, sure i'll let you know you okay. will know cool yes Fantastic. sure sure yeah thank you so much yes neela thank you okay. dear thank you hi indrani thanks for joining me hi neela thank you for having me and for the willingness to share your knowledge with all of us good okay thank you. now you have been a therapist for more than how many years 30 years 40 years yes yes a long time a long long time, long time. amazing right. and you have had experience with lots and lots of modalities different modalities right you're right yes so what is the one common thing you find across all these all these modalities or with all the all those who come to me or i have seen or done therapy with all the modalities the all yeah. the modalities what i find is that uh, those who come the first thing i notice is that they are having some kind of fear okay fear is a big problem whether it's a child who can't sleep at night or it's the mother about the child or the husband about the wife or the wife about the husband it has always something to do with fear we are afraid of either to hurt somebody or we are afraid that we hurt somebody whatever it is you know okay. this is a theme that goes and every therapy also teaches people to um treat this fear amazing okay so how do you handle fear or how do you help your clients handle fear um it, i if they are if they come because they have come to me for homeopathy then there are many many remedies you can give depending on whether it's uh, the kind of fear they have whether it's children or grown ups and uh, that's one form of doing it and then of course with forms of psychotherapy you try to i try to at least find out where or when this happened and try to move with them to this space to clear it mm -hmm. if need be otherwise try to start from where they are and ask them is the fear here now mm -hmm. and if there is no fear here now mm. we try to start from here and now so if you don't have fear now mm -hmm. who was try to uh, make them realize or experience that their past and their future is something that we create in the mind and that okay. they create it also in the mind okay. and that there is no such thing as a past or a future but that it's only here Mm -hmm. and therefore the fear that they are experiencing that they are not experiencing now mm -hmm. could be stretched in mm -hmm. this moment mm -hmm. by continuing the moment you know and it, making it an eternal moment okay and by training them giving them little exercises and things like that that's how i go about it yeah. okay great so what is the uh, or would you be able to share an uh, uh, an example where you uh, kind of facilitated your customers to move away from a fear um, instantly no moved away oops um neela i don't know whether i can bring you one now mm -hmm. um of course with homeopathy it's different because they come with so many other problems as mm -hmm. well 
and uh, fear could be one symptom. So okay. you give the remedy and then you know. Mm -hmm. But in uh, the therapy forms, mm -hmm. the only thing I could say would be with Sedona, it's much okay. easier. You oh, know, okay. Sedona. Yeah, with yeah. That it's very easy to move somebody out of fear very quickly. Amazing. Because you ask the simple questions like when they see that they don't have the heat fear now at mm -hmm. this moment, mm -hmm. then you tell them, okay, if this fear that it's a memory in your mind that mm -hmm. it was something from the past, mm -hmm. are you willing to let go of it? Mm -hmm. And uh, they might at the moment say no. So mm -hmm. you say, okay, you can hold on to it because they have fear that it will come back. Mm -hmm. And then you try to show them, okay, then you welcome this fear, keep mm -hmm. it with you, mm -hmm. treasure it as long as you want. And then you give them a minute and we say, okay, shall we try to let that go now? Okay. And very often they say, yes, I would like to let it go now. And would okay. you now and when now? So oh, okay. that way it's easier for them okay. to realize yeah okay the fear is not something that they have to carry with them all the time okay mm -hmm. is there any other uh, tips you can uh, give for children with fear or for, to parents to facilitate children out of fear i think with children it is always also the same mode of working with grown-ups can be used mm -hmm. children are just only small in their body mm -hmm. their minds their spirit is mm -hmm. even bigger than some grown-ups really mm -hmm. because they have not been mutated in any form they are still pure they are still innocent mm -hmm. so if when you notice that a child is having fear then you can always do the same thing is the fear here now mm -hmm. and you start from there start from here instead of going back to uh what was or what could be and imagine things with the child you know and especially mm -hmm. not tell stories that are fearful for kids mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. things like that help okay so, it's a long lasting fear of course you have to seek children okay. are mostly helped with homeopathy perfectly very fast very well I see. Okay. So can you uh, help people uh, over internet online? That's my idea and I okay. hope to and I will do it okay. if I've decided so, to. So how do you prescribe homeopathy uh, over um, online calls? Is it possible? Uh, it will be possible that I would write them an email and then tell them that this and this remedy should be taken from a pharmacy that they go and buy themselves and oh, okay it yeah okay. I don't have to send it to them no okay fine so yeah anywhere in the world you can um uh, you can facilitate people from that's perfect yeah that's no problem no that, okay cool so uh, some what countries is... might not have homeopathy though Neela. Some okay. countries might not have homeopathy. Like it's India is famous, as you know, Germany, Switzerland, Europe. Uh, in the United States, there are some states that have homeopathy. Some states don't have. So I just don't know how it's going to work out. But okay, yeah. Okay. Start so, to speak. Okay. What else is possible there? What else is possible there? Yes. So you said any other tips you have for people uh, with fear? Any other tips that I would have for people with fear? It depends, of course, Neela, with what kind of fear they have. Again, mm -hmm. you see, um, people having extreme fear like um, panic attacks mm -hmm. and things like that, this ha needs more treatment. It will okay. take longer. It's okay. not something you can treat. It might be easy to treat with uh, Sedona, but it will have to be also regular. Okay. Homeopathy and other psychotherapy forms. Do the do Byron Katie, I don't know the work. That's another yeah. possibility. Or do EFT, tap on it and say, mm -hmm. even though I have these panic attacks or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. These are all modules I hope to use with the person, depending on when they come, because it's, um 
they will bring along it's it would be a game that i would have to play with them as you say now you see it's okay. the game we are going to play because we have to find <laughs> fantastic the labyrinth we are going to get out yeah okay so uh, if you are willing to help people from all over the world would you like to share your email id yes i will okay please do uh, indrani maya at me dot com okay okay would you like to spell it for you for them yes i n d r a n i m e i e r at m e dot c o m com there you go so what more magic can you create with all your playmates playmates that are going to show up yes Okay. Thank you okay, so much Nila. for sharing Thank your knowledge. Nila. Thank you. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye Neela. Have a lovely time in the states. Bye. Bye.